feel it again. The energy I felt earlier. It must have been Aramis using stasis. darkness trail Aramis left behind leads right through that door, but it's locked. With stasis, yes. You will not be able to break through. Then we'll find another way around. You're all here for the same reason. Because you desire freedom for our people. I can give you just that. Aramis is close. She's ours now. Centuries we have been bound by them, servants to the so-called Great Machine. We even built idols in its image. We have become pawns of our own devices. No longer. Today, we begin breaking free from our chains! This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you in time. Vilax! By one, we will rise again. This is our future. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. The Great Machine will finally know our pain! It would appear our enemies have arrived, eager to test us. Let's not keep them waiting. Oh no, this... I can feel it. It's too powerful. Erebus has begun spreading stasis to her army. We must get out now. I'm calling our ship. Let's go. Don't stop. Keep moving.
actually have darkness. The Fallen. This is really bad. Ships here. To the left. Come close and listen. Varix believed Aramis wished to create a new life for the Elixni, but these dark powers have poisoned her mind. And so I fled from her. For this, she calls me Betrayer. There are others who fled, those like me, who still worship the Great Machine. They are in hiding. I will not leave them behind. They will be casualties in her war without our help. But perhaps they can be brought to safety. Power's going, Barracks. Good. Two more. Okay, Barracks. That's two. You hear that? Sounded like voices. What? Who? The ones who spoke through me. We must hurry, then. There's one more relay. They're here. They're beckoning us. The light believes you thankless. Nothing more than a soldier asked again and again to do its bidding. So we want to thank you with a gift to help you finally take control.
Kong's our guardian. Right on time. I know. I owe you an explanation for all this. I once asked Guardians to destroy the Black Heart, to prevent Darkness's arrival. Success may have been achieved, but I now know that fate comes knocking sooner or later. The floodgates are open. The Darkness is here. I wield it now with intent to stop our enemies where the light cannot. Your resilience within the Pyramid proves you're capable of wielding it too. Before us lies what we call a ziggurat. Its purpose is temptation. To begin your training, you must give in. Here, take this. Please understand, the line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Your old pal Drifter was right. It's time to ditch the light, good, dark, bad dogma. And folks are finally starting to see it. With everything that's at stake, you are reveling in being right. Just let me have this one, Three Eyes, all right? Just once. I cannot tell you how relieved I am to see you. We are in great need of allies. And I am in even greater need of a buffer between myself and the ever-obnoxious Drifter. The stranger, you see, is far too reserved to provide sufficient rest from his chatter. I suspect her quiet has more to do with what she has to hide. Though I've yet to work out what or why. Still. Even these two are an improvement from my solitary studies on Luna. You're lucky to have your ghost, Guardian. As you can surely tell already, this journey into darkness is not to be traveled alone. I'm picking up a fallen transmission. It's Aramis. Attention all pawns of the once great machine. Did you know that before it doomed your kind, it did the same to mine? You are not special. Just the plaything of a so-called god who would sooner see your life end than its own.
Hylax is down. Her soldiers will scatter. But there are other powerful Elixni that will stand in your path. Destroying the general doesn't destroy the army. But this is a start, at least. Let's get that splinter back to camp. Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness, she and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. The darkness places a spotlight on our desires, as it once did me and those I cared about. For a time, I had forgotten. Humanity relies on our selfless acts to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. With splinters of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. Let it grow. The ziggurat awaits. Once word gets out about stasis, the vanguard will be bleeding schmucks. Can't show a light bearer a new toy and then tell him not to play with it. You underestimate Zavala and Ikora. When they can see what we've seen, they will do what's right. Maybe, Moondust. Maybe. Understand, Guardian. This power we wield is not a gift from a benevolent overseer. It is a tool, stolen from an enemy. One that is all too tempting to abuse. I know this well. Before the stranger came to offer her guidance, I despaired of my entanglement with the darkness. I shudder to think how easily I could have slipped down the path to destruction. How anyone could. A balanced mind is the best defense, Guardian. Do not let fear or anger tip the scales.
Praxis is down. We're finishing up here. Good. Without Phylax and Praxis, Aramis will grow reckless, careless. Without her counsel, she is weak. She will struggle to control this new dark power. Perfect time for us to strike. Guardian, we should get back to camp with this splinter. The stranger will be waiting. Praxis and Phylax are dead. We must retaliate! Atrax. Critis and I can handle this. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. Aramis, we must take pause. These powers are not what we expected. I too am impatient, but there is wisdom in caution. Destruction they crave. Guardian, I don't even know where to begin. It seems every day I know less and less. But that's not why I came here. The Vanguard has been watching Aramis, and I have important intel for you. You've clearly disrupted Aramis's plans. Vanguard scouts report that she's fled to the Cosmodrome, perhaps to loot the remains of the old House Devil's hideouts. Her plan is unclear, but I believe she's getting desperate. Go to Earth. Find out what her next move is. And Guardian, I understand what you're doing fighting fire with fire. But the darkness is not our friend. The darkness caused the collapse. By all accounts, it seeks to cause another. Don't let it lead you away from the light. The city needs you. I need you. For now, do what you must for the good of humanity. But don't lose sight of who you are. was a world of prosperity and peace, not unlike your golden age. We worshipped the great machine, but fate intervened. With it came a whirlwind of destruction. In the chaos, the great machine fled, abandoning us all. Aramis, like most, was left consumed with rage. In the wake of loss, Aramis rebuilt a life, found new family, one forged from anger. Aramis saw only destruction of that which abandoned us. Varric's fears for elixir lives. At the command of Aramis, they will meet their end. We all do. We must all make choices. 
Aramis chose herself over her people. If Aramis is to succeed, the great machine and all who follow it will meet their end. In darkness, there is only one truth. Death. Darkness is a parasite. It burrows its way into your soul and feeds on your most selfish desires. Your every wish, tainted and twisted, as you become the very thing darkness wants you to be. In that world, there is no future for any of us. I... have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. So know this as you step away from the light once more. Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. We are humanity's final salvation. You know me, kid. I've been getting ready for the end since the day I was born. Then Stranger here came around preaching the same thing. You ever get antsy when people tell you exactly what you want to hear? No one's making you stay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gabbing. I've written to Zavala and Ikora to convince them of our cause. They're wary, of course. But I believe we can pry open even their closed-off minds. We must, if we're to stand a chance against what's to come. Osiris has done much to pave our way. Many do not reject his ideas as they once did. I sent a message to him as well, though I doubt he read it. I'd rather not contemplate as to why. Is wrong about barracks, 
about Elixir. Barracks came for a second chance. For the right thing. That is strength, not weakness. Oh, please, Barracks. You only came here to hide. Like a coward. No! Releasing Vex put Elixni lives in danger. Many have already perished. Aramis, you are the real coward! I am. I have enough of the birds. I will enjoy watching the smoke shatter into pieces. You see now. Darkness resides within, beckoning you, as it has many others, across lifetimes. Timelines. Beyond ours lies another world, one pervaded by darkness, where guardians abandoned their light at the call of temptation. In that world, you were no exception. But 
here, in this world, light and dark swell within you side by side, giving you strength. Remember that when you step onto the ziggurat once more. You're there for one reason and one alone. To fully harness the darkness within you. It's time now. They're expecting you. I can resurrect you with the light, but if using darkness consumes you, I may be powerless. You have taken control of the darkness within and sent Aramis to her end. It's time the truth presented itself to you. I mentioned before, another timeline. My own. There Aramis lived, and the temptation of darkness thrived. It pervaded the minds of the good and preyed on their desires, bringing about a new dark age. I feared these events unavoidable, and though I still do, you've given me cause to hope again. Our fight is far from over. We must prevent that dark future no matter what. Thanks to you, I stand no longer at a familiar end, only a promising new beginning. That power looks good on you, kid. Real snappy. When the world goes to hell, folks like you and me just keep on going. Still gotta work. Still gotta get paid. Bring those fancy new powers through Gambit sometime, huh? You're far from true mastery, but your progress with stasis marks a step forward for our cause. Hopefully your example will encourage others to explore this path. The Vanguard view us three with suspicion. But you, you they trust. Show them it is not misplaced. Demonstrate how the darkness can be used for good, just as the light has been for evil. This is only the beginning, Guardian. We have much more yet to uncover. Aramis is gone. I can't say I agree with your methods, but you did what had to be done. Europa is a treasure trove of Golden Age knowledge. 
That knowledge, good and bad, belongs to humanity and must remain out of the hands of our enemies. With their Kel gone, the Fallen will be scattered and disorganized. Frequent targeted strikes will keep them that way. I've made an arrangement with the Awoken. Temporary immunity for barracks while he helps us secure Europa. It doesn't sit right with me. After what happened to Cade. But there are greater threats on our doorstep now. <laughs>